Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Today we're doing an app review and we are taking a look at Talon for Twitter. Now, this is probably one of the best Twitter apps available on the Play Store. Um, it's very highly regarded by uh, most Android publications that are out there like Android Authority, um, Android Central. Um, they've all covered this app. Um, it has a lot of great features. Uh, you can customize a lot in this app uh, to your liking. I mean, you can theme it. You can add certain settings for how often it syncs. All sorts of different stuff. So let's just jump right in um, and take a look real quick. Okay, in the middle here, we've obviously got our timeline. Um, the beauty of the timeline here is that it automatically adds tweets into the timeline, unlike the stock Twitter app, which I've noticed I've had to press get new tweets or whatever the button is. Uh, but this does it automatically. On the left-hand side, you've got a whole bunch of options here you can switch between. You've got your activity, your timeline, your mentions, your direct messages, your discover, your list, your favorites, your retweets, your favorite tweets, and save searches. Now, a lot of these settings can be quite difficult to find in the stock version of Twitter. Um, so it's really nice that Talon makes it uh, available right on the left-hand side straight off the bat so you don't have to go uh, dicking around trying to figure out through the settings how to get to these different things. Um, it just it's right there on the front. Also you can actually uh, swipe to the left on the actual timeline and it will send you to your mentions. If you swipe again you can go to your direct messages uh, and that's it. Uh, there is another option in the settings for you to change the complete layout so that we look more like TweetDeck where the whole screen would be your timeline and if you swipe to the left you'd have the whole screen would be to your mentions, if you swiped again you'd have the whole screen for your direct messages so on and so forth. Um, you also can have multiple accounts in this app and if you look at my Twitter handle up on the uh, top left hand side uh, there's a little drop down arrow right next to my name and if I drop it down uh, you can see tap to add an account. Um, you can also log out and switch between different accounts. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the settings and take a look here. Uh, again, now you can s customize pretty much anything about this app. It's really, really nice. Um, let's go check out the UI settings. You can change the theme. There's a light theme, a dark theme, which is basically the theme I have now, just a little lighter. Um, and then the completely blacked out theme, which is what I'm using, obviously. Um, and that just saves a whole lot of battery, which I like, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, you can Put on night mode, um, you can change the text size, the font type, which is really unusual. You usually can't do that with a lot of apps, which is really nice. Uh, if we go back, you've got your sync settings, your timeline settings, and you can do a whole bunch of stuff here. You can change the amount, uh, you can change the time at which um, uh, the Twitter app syncs to the, the Twitter server. So um, if you wanted to sync every 30 minutes, every hour, every two hours, you can do that. You can also cap the amount of tweets that it downloads. So say it downloads 300 megabytes worth of tweets, uh, it, it will cap that and it won't download any more than that. Um, you can also set it so once you've reached 300 megabytes, it'll delete all the previous tweets, um, which is really nice. Uh, and memory management is basically what I was just talking about. You get your timeline size, your mention size. This is where you can set all that stuff. Uh, you can also back up and restore all your settings, uh, which is also a huge bonus. Again, if you do a lot of um, rooting and trying new roams, you can just back up all your settings from Talon, boot up your brand new roam, install Talon, and then just restore from the, from the uh, backup file you made and everything's back to normal. You don't have to go through and configure all your settings again. Uh, really nice feature to have. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go too in depth. A lot of this you're going to kind of have to figure out for yourself. Um, the app, uh, this version of the app again is not uh, available on the Play Store anymore. The new version is called Talon Plus. Uh, the only difference between the one that I'm using and the new one is it has a little more lollipop theming on the new one. I actually prefer the old theme versus the new theming that they're using. Um, but if you do go ahead and buy the new version of the app, you can use the old theme as well. Um, it's $3.99 on the Play Store, and again, it's totally worth it if you're uh, an, avid an avid Twitter user. Um, go ahead and grab that. Um, it's definitely worth the four bucks. 
All right, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, if you like the app, uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and comment uh, in the comment section. Please uh, like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and um, keep an eye out for my next video. That'd be great. All right, guys, thanks.